Hello everyone, welcome back again to our channel Codus Arcade. In today's tutorial, I will be talking about one very important concept in Python, which is function attributes in Python. So just like we can add attributes to each instance or object of a class, we can do the same to Python functions as well. I will show you how to add attributes to functions. Okay. So before starting this video, I would like to request all of you to please like and share our videos as you have been doing okay and at the same time don't forget to subscribe to our channel and get the latest updates in your mobile and computer okay and without any more ado then let's get started as i said today's topic will be python function attributes okay so as you can see here i am inside my pycharm id and let me just open the project and create a new directory okay right click new directory let me name it as funk attributes. Okay. And then here, let me create a simple file called p1. Let me minimize this and let's start. Okay. So as I said, our topic will be function attributes. So let me write a simple comment here similar to setting for objects instances of a class we can also set attributes for a function in python okay so that is what we will be looking at today how to set attributes to functions in python okay simple let me create a function called func and i will take an argument here which is x okay and here let us take a variable say v is equal to we will simply say x to the power 3 suppose we are trying to calculate the cube of any number okay that is what it will return now let me show you how we can create an attribute okay so guys please remember the syntax it's very important the syntax is something like this function name dot attribute name is equal to value okay just remember it like this so suppose here the x here is actually the input given to the function right so i can write something like this the function name is func okay and i don't need the parenthesis here i will just say dot input value is equal to x okay because that is being taken from the user right and then we can also decide the description of this function okay i can simply say func dot description is equal to here what is actually this function returning i can simply say returns the cube of a number okay that's all and full stop now it's our time to call this function and check how it's working okay so i'll print and say call the function here inside the print statement and then i have to pass the value of x so suppose i am passing 4 so when i run this it should be returning me 4 cube that is 64 let's run this and check So guys, you can see here, just because I am not returning anything from the function, I am not getting the output properly, right? So what we can do here is, we can simply use the return statement like this. Return the value of b. Okay. Now let's run this and check what we are getting. Yes, you can see here, we are getting 64. Suppose if you want to return square, you can say to the power 2. That's it. Only one line will change. And if I run this now, you can see I'm getting 16. That is the square of 4. Okay. But let me correct it again because I am trying to be correct with my 
statements that I have written here. Okay, returns the queue of a number. Now, suppose if you want to access the attributes like this attribute input value and this attribute description, what you should do? Use the print function and here simply you can say name of the function dot. You will not get suggestions. You have to explicitly write that. Okay, just remember this input underscore value. Okay, and for the next one, I will just say print func dot description. Fine. Now, for this line, I should get the output something like this. It should be the value of this particular variable x, which is as I have passed here for, and then in the next one. The description should be this particular one that we have here. Okay, not the quote, only the statement. So it should be like this. Okay, that should be our target. Now let's run this and check. Yes, you can see here, guys. So four is actually the value that we have passed to the function, and description is as it in here. Returns a cube of a number. Okay, so it's working fine. Got it. So this is how we can set attributes. For a function in Python. Okay, I hope you have understood this. If you have any doubts regarding this video, you can post your comments in the comment section. I will be very happy to clarify them. And also, guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to like and share our videos with your friends and family. And also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest updates. Thank you. So, see you in the next video. This is Saurabh signing off. Bye bye and happy learning.